guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episode six of Lapis Relight. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Guys, I'm so excited because finally, the other group that I am like literally mm, excited to see, they're finally going to be completed. Like, mm, so happy. Ah. Oh. This is gonna be a good episode. I just know it. The fact that I gotta wait like an extra <laughs> Where she could be. Hmm? Oh, so she just straight up to wait. Is that her? Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> if that is her sister, it would make sense for her to be in this episode today, but at the same time, I think. Because we're officially, as of today, we're at the halfway point of this show, and with the group Ray, I believe that's their name, from what I remember a couple of weeks ago, and the research that I know before this anime, um, hopefully they get some, we get something on them, because it, it'd be really messed up if they decide not to do anything on them. With seven more episodes left with the show because I think this is a 13 episode series um you still have enough time to you know do it I'm just saying but my other girls Supernova and the girls who look like they're doing are gonna be completely so happy uh but I also want one episode of Supernova because I mean I support them too because okay here I'm gonna say this why show them in the opening if they're not going to get character development in this anime? I would rather them also get character development in the anime so that when the game comes out, hopefully in fall, because I'm guessing there's a reason of why they're showing the anime first and then kind of waiting because with the DJ game, I think the DJ game and the anime are supposed to air at the exact same time and that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Oh my Tia. Mary didn't return to you guys in the middle of the night. Well, because the last time we saw her, she saw the last girl from the group. Mm. So she could be in that haunted house. Get a million, my baby. Not even Kanye I can think of. And don't worry, you guys are gonna find her. Be positive. Honestly, yeah. Then she's got to be in that house. Hmm. 
the house that you saw last week. Right? Creepy. Scary. Just how I like it. And the doors are open. So she's gotta be in there. Yeah, I'd be fine. She's got to be here because where else would she... Wait, what was that? Yeah, it's a doll. Well, at least you didn't touch the doll, but I feel like the doll is going to do mm -hmm. Of course. It wasn't even raining outside, though. But hey, I mean, because you're in a spooky behind house, of course, it's going to happen. I was right. She is in there. She would be on the top floor. And the door closes. So we can only have, what, like five people at a time in this house? Mary Ann, um, I don't know that she will. What's up, lover?
Did everybody get lost? <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, hey, that's a good way to do the eye catch. <laughs> She has to be. This is the only other place that's out here. The baby crying? <laughs> Go on, follow it! Baby dolls? Oh. Yeah, just baby dolls. Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> you're the only new baby. It's okay. <laughs> this is the best idol horror show I mean episode I've ever seen I mean that could have been Miri Hi. But you can't go anywhere without Mary. Mm, that makes sense. Damn, yeah, you didn't have to just drop her like that. <laughs> Is the ghost in the doll? I mean, that would make sense.
and she fainted. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Poor Emilia, like, damn. So why are you staying here exactly, Garnet? Amelia! <laughs> Poor baby. Yeah, you're... Yeah, she's okay. Is she cute though? <laughs> and then she's gonna be a part of the group! <laughs> Aww. Now I just need the game to come out so I can just start. Mm. Kicking some butt with these girls. <laughs> well, I mean, she is a ghost. <laughs> yeah. That's her demi human ability. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that was just a little fun. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I. She has to do that. Well, hmm. Mm -hmm. You're the 
only one that we need. No, no, you're gonna go to school. Mm hmm. And then eventually you guys are gonna sing because you're the only group that I'm fucking waiting for to sing. I honestly thought I would have possibly been a little jealous. <laughs> oh. oh my god, I love you, Ashley! <laughs> oh, poor baby. Okay, so this episode, I loved it. For, um... A creepy horror as episode. Loved it. That was cute. That was freaking cute. And I love how they went from three to four. And just, mm. This was a good episode, but I'm happy that my one of my other favorite groups is finally completed. I mean, thank God, because I was assuming that like their performance wasn't really going to be in this episode, that they would have waited until maybe like two or three episodes later, because I think as of right now... Um, Champs group is the only group that has to perform because I, I think so. That and Ray, and I feel like Ray, you know, talking about that a little bit more, they're probably going to perform by the end of the series. They have to. It makes the most sense because they're going to be in the game. And why would you hype them up as a PV that came out a couple of months ago before the anime came out and not to let them perform in it? So I feel like between episode 8 to the end of the series, we're finally going to get that story about Ray as a group and why. Um, I'm going to say this because this is like big massive spoilers because it, it's in, it, they talked about it in the game and stuff and you can tell from the beginning of episode 1 that it's like that why they broke up. Um, so, I mean, that's my biggest thing on it. I hope that they at least give us a little bit more context and clues on that because it would be really messed up. If they decide not to really show anything, drop it all completely and just show it in the game. Because let, like, let's also talk about the game real quick. Because a lot of people thought when this game was coming out, when the game was announced about like, what, two years ago and everything. Not even showing that much gameplay. Because there's been some gameplay um, on the website for it. And then sometimes people go on Twitter and it's around. It's not your typical rhythm game. Because I think a lot of us kind of really assumed going into this show and seeing the PVs and everything for it that the game would have been a straight up rhythm game. And it's not. It's a um, turn-based RPG game. So, I mean, I'm, like when I found that out, I was like, okay, so basically, I was like, at first I was 
I thought it was going to be a hit and miss for me, but I was like, well, it still has something to do with idols. It's going to be different. It's kind of going to give me feels towards um, Project Tokyo Dolls, another game that I played by Square Enix. But I'm still, I ain't mad at it. I think at the beginning I kind of was because I was like, oh, okay, we're going to go rhythm. But I think the witch thing and the fighting thing, I think that's going to be a very useful thing that we're going to see later on in the game and in the series. But um, yeah, I'm glad that this group is finally together because your girl has been waiting for a while to see these four girls together. And now Garnet's going to be added in the opening next week and it's going to be so good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 6 of Lapis Relights. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the match squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 7. Bye, guys!